money is so important and everyone should hurry up and settle the issue of money on time before the age of 30 before you graduate and before you get married most ladies who have attained the age of 30 and some who are married they find it so challenging to settle the issue of money you will see married women young ladies who are married who are battling with finances some cannot even afford to buy petty things for themselves and their children and this is why some women suffer after the death of their husband because they solely depend on their husband's income to cater for their needs welcome 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 my amazing queens you are welcome to the poem training this is the voice of Mustafa Aziza Tomatolani, who most people know as Ilonia, a digital creator who is so obsessed with impacting knowledge and values. I'm an eye ticket closer who is married to one of the best men on earth. And around the life, we are blessed with two adorables. I help my fellow queens gain financial stability by opening their eyes to numerous ways of making money online. And I'm so excited to have you all here with me. But I don't know if the excitement is the same with you. Because the excitement is on the high side with me over here. I don't know if we have people here who are already comfortable with the economic situation. They do not need money to cater for anything. Whatever they need, they always have access to it. So money is no longer their problem. Probably they don't have any problem with financial issues. Probably they don't have any problem with finances. Even if a dollar is 10,000 right tomorrow, they will still be doing well and okay. If you fall into that category, you may not be so excited to be here. But if you feel the need to generate steady income as a lady or as a mom, and you also feel the need to increase the quality of your life and you believe you can make more money and live a better life and become happy. If you strongly believe that you can make money and do better in life as a female and be more happy with your partner and people around you, I want you to type, I am excited to be here this evening. Type it on the group. The WhatsApp group is open and type it there. The Telegram discussion group is also open. You can type it there as well. But I would prefer if you type it in the WhatsApp group. We have three WhatsApp groups for this training. Alhamdulillah. So whichever group you fall in, type it in there. Type, I am excited to be here this evening. Type it on the group. Type it on the group. I am excited to be here this evening. Because there are some people on the WhatsApp groups that one distraction or the other is preventing from being on this session. There are some people on the WhatsApp groups that one distraction or the other is preventing from being on this session to learn how to rewrite their financial story. And this is an opportunity for them to learn from someone who doesn't lack experience, someone who, only, who doesn't only make money for herself from the comfort of our home. Someone who doesn't only derive happiness from making money for herself, rather he teaches our fellow queens how to do the same for themselves. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, type I can hear you on the group. You see, as a woman or as a lady, it is very important to have an income. This will not only make you have inner peace, you will also be happy with your spouse and the people around you. For me, I believe that money is so important and everyone should hurry up and settle the issue of money on time before the age of 30, before you graduate and before you get married. Most ladies who have attained the age of 30 and some who are married, 
they find it so challenging to settle the issue of money. You see married women, young ladies who are married, who are battling with finances. Some cannot even afford to buy petty things for themselves and their children. And this is why some women suffer after the death of their husband. Because they solely depend on their husband's income to cater for their needs. What if something happens? See, in this life, the most constant thing is change. Anything can happen to anybody at any time. If you depend on your husband, that is the one that should be taken care of. Fine, I know it is his responsibility to cater for you and the kids. What if at that moment that you need a particular thing? What if he cannot afford it? What are you going to do? Are you going to tell him to steal? Or what are you going to do? So having a source of income as a woman, at least you'll be able to support your spouse when things are not going on fine. Even if things go on well and fine with your spouse all the time. If you don't want to have an income because of anything, at least because of your parents and your siblings, they will need you at some point in time. When they call you or they ask for favor from you, you will be able to give them. Not that you start getting angry over little, little things. And you see some students nowadays, you see that a lot of females have turned to better. Some involve themselves in illegal things. Some involve themselves in immoral things. Things they are not supposed to be doing. They do it all because they want to have money with them. So money problem is something everyone should settle before the age of 30, before you graduate or before you get married. So if you have not graduated from higher institution or you are yet to be married or perhaps you have not attained the age of 30, this is an opportunity for you to settle the issue of money on time. I'll be sharing my screen with you now. So that money issue should not be something you are battling with after the age of 30. It should not be something you will be battling with after graduating from the higher institution. Neither should it be something you should be battling with after getting married. Are you getting my point? Are you getting my point? If you are getting my point, type, I will never be poor. Type it on the group. Type, I will never be poor. Type it on the group. You can type it on the Telegram discussion group or you can type it on the WhatsApp group. The sister shared her experience with me after she got married. And I really felt for her. Her husband actually asked her not to work. So she was not working. She was a full-time housewife. So, but as Allah we wanted, things were not going well with the husband. This sister said she cannot even afford to buy sanitary pad whenever she's on her period. So she will cut her old wrappers. And this is what she uses to pad herself during her menses. You can imagine. She cannot boast of a penny. Whenever she needs financial help, she calls her parents or her siblings. And she is the first child of her parents. So in order to fight poverty, she decided to look for a job with the hope that she will be using the money she earns to support her family. Luckily for her, she got a job. <clears throat> Luckily for her, she got a job. But her husband insisted that he can't allow her to work. Probably he has his reason. And that was how she continued living in poverty because he doesn't want to disobey her husband. Imagine. Imagine if this sister has a source of income. As the husband is going through challenges, she will be able to support the family with the money she makes. But instead of the husband to allow her to work, he said she should not work. He might have his reason though. So if you are married and your husband said don't work, I'm not saying you should disobey your husband. But your husband that says you should not work should be able to provide your needs. Not that he will tell you not to work and he will still be able to provide. And when you are trying to um, look for a job to support the family, he still insists that you should not work. 
So I'm not telling you to disobey your husband. So as for this sister now, you can see what she faces. And see what she faced rather. So no matter how dollar appreciates, let me tell you, you can never pluck money from a tree. And money will not fall down from heaven. Neither will you find money littered on the streets. To make money, to have money, you have to work for it. You have to understand the money. I have been in this situation before and I understand what it means to be financially handicapped. I once earned 12,000 naira as a classroom teacher after graduating from the university. Some of you have read my story. Some of you have read my story in one of my books, in my one of my books titled My Grass to Grace. Some of you have read it. I explained how I stopped begging for urgent money in that book. So if you are yet to get the book, you can send me a DM. I once earned 12,000 as a classroom teacher after graduating from university. But at the end of the month, I am always frustrated and disappointed because what I earn cannot even cover my expenses. Talk less of giving back to my parents. I worked as a classroom teacher. After a while, my boss said that she would be helping her to collect money. That was I started working as a bosser too. Later, he joined sec uh, secretary work to my work. I was doing three ones with 12,000 there. The, this economy is so hard on everyone, it's so hard on everybody. It's only those who can make money for themselves that are still true. For me, I make steady income as a stay at home mom. Whether I'm busy or not, money flows into my account. And that is exactly what I want to show you if you can follow whatever I tell you. You see, to achieve something, there is always a condition and a provision. But the problem is that a lot of people want the provision, but they don't want to obey the condition. So looking at everything, the economic situation and the hardship in the country, so I thought to myself that, what will I gain if I cannot teach more females? What will I gain if I cannot teach more queens like myself? What will I gain if I cannot share them my strategies and secrets? That enables me to make money steadily from the comfort of my home, most especially in this difficult economic situation. Now, let me ask you how will you feel if you can activate steady credit alert in the remaining part of this year? How do you think it will help you? Well, for me, if you ask me, I would say it will, it will reduce the way you complain of lack of money at all times. Making money steadily is very powerful. A very powerful thing for you to be making money steadily. It's a very powerful thing. From my personal experience, making money gives me inner peace and excitement. I feel happy. I do not have any reason to complain about financial body. So, how many of you are ready to learn how to make steady money from the comfort of your home? Let me see your response on the go. If you are ready to make steady money from the comfort of your home. Let me see your response on your go. Like I said earlier, for every provision, there is a condition. And that is why this training is not for everyone. If you can stay till the end of this training, we have the opportunity to 20,000 naira monetary giveaway. This training is not for everybody, like I said, because there is a condition attached to it. In fact, there are conditions. There are a lot of things that give someone excitement. But once you have money problem, all these things will no longer enter your brain. That is why I said settle your money problem first. When you settle your money problem, you have the time and freedom to attend to other things that gives you excitement. I hope you get that. So for every provision, there is always a condition. For every provision, there is always a condition, but unfortunately, it is not everyone that wants to fulfill the condition. All they want is the provision, and that is why it is not everybody that can make this money. So we can see, since we started the campaign of this training, many of you will just be seeing digi poem, digi poem, digi poem, and you might be wondering, what is this? What is the meaning of this digi poem self? Digipoem literally means digital product as an opportunity for empowering moms. 
which means that um, digital products can be an opportunity to empower you as a mom or as a student or as a female in general. So it can be in your house, create your digital product, it can be a form of an ebook, a course or training, and you sell it online. And also, I would like to tell you that this training is not a get rich quick program, neither is it a Ponzi scheme. So, if you think this training is a get rich quick program or a money doubling scheme, you are in the wrong place. I'm not teaching you how to do people to make money because I strongly believe that anyone that does anyone will surely, will surely be punished for it. Anybody you do, you surely be punished for it, either in this life or in the year after. So if you are the type who believes in betting or gambling or Ponzi scheme, this training is not for you. you. Don't want you here. So if you want to have financial stability, there are three things you must do. You must serve, you must obey money principle, and you must understand followership. The first point here, which is to serve, is what we'll be treating first. Service is the true foundation of wealth and money. He who cannot serve will definitely starve. Anyone who cannot serve will definitely starve. Such person will go hungry. Such person must face hunger back to back because he or she doesn't want to serve. And for you to serve, there are two entities you must serve if you want to be financially stable. The first entity is your creator. You must serve your creator day and night, wholeheartedly. If you serve your creator day and night, you cannot, you cannot starve. If you serve your creator wholeheartedly, you cannot go on good. The second entity you must serve are the people you have been called to serve. So if you serve your creator day and night, wholeheartedly, you cannot starve. When you serve your creator and the people you ask to serve, you will get the provision, which is money, and you will have it in abundance. You can see now, like I said earlier, that for every provision, there's always a condition. The condition here now is that if you serve your creator and the people you are called to serve, you will have the provision, which is money. So the condition is that you must serve your creator and the people you are called to serve for you to have the provision, which is money and you have it in abundance. The problem with most people is that whenever they hear of the condition and provision, they focus more on the provision, and that is why they are broke. That's why they complain of money problem all the time. Second point, or the second thing you must do to have financial stability is that you must obey money principles. No matter who you are, no matter your tribe, no matter the country you are, you are, you must obey financial principle. And one of the principles of money is service. You might be curious why I am emphasizing that if you don't serve, you will starve. I swear by our last name, anyone who doesn't serve will beg. Such person will be among the beggars. Even if dollar, even if one dollar is equivalent to one naira, then such person will begin to wonder what the problem is. There is no problem. This is just because you are not obeying money principle. Another thing you have to do to have financial stability is to understand followership. When you make money or when you start making money, you are expected to follow the, principle, the process that brings the money. When you make money, you follow the process that brings the money. You take your eyes off the money. Don't get carried away with the money you are making, but rather follow the process that brings that money. Now, for you to make money online, for you to make steady money online, there are some things you must understand. You must understand how to command money. And I call this money commandment. So I'll list some of them for you. There are some things that command money, but fortunately, most people don't want to learn. They don't want to be committed. They don't want to listen to instruction. They don't want to be mentored. But they want to make money. <clears throat> My sister, it doesn't work that way. For you to make money, you must know how to command money. So how do you command money? 
the first way to command money if you know you want to make money online is that you must commit yourself to personal development you must commit yourself to personal development you must develop yourself every day you must learn every day you must learn every day if you truly want to make steady money when it has to do with making money there are some personal developments you have to commit yourself to the first personal development you have to commit yourself to is money and finances anywhere they are teaching money and finances you must be there be it on social media on any social media platform even if it's a physical setting once you know that it is money and finances they are discussing there you must be there another personal development you must commit yourself to is social media you must understand at least one social media platform i don't expect you to to learn different social media platforms i'm not saying you should understand TikTok, understand Facebook, understand Twitter, understand WhatsApp, understand Instagram. No, I'm not saying that. But at least to make steady money, you must understand at least one social media platform. You see, social media is for profit. Poor people use social media for pleasure, while rich people use social media for profit. See, a lot of people, and that is the reason, one of the reasons why they are poor. Once they buy data, the next thing for them to go to TikTok, they open their TikTok app and start watching the relevant videos. Some go to Facebook, some Instagram. Some will just be cutting cools up and down. And in the end, when their data finish, they go broke again. With all the videos they are watching, they cannot boast of a pen in their account. So, like I said, rich people use social media for profit. Why poor people use social media for pleasure? So which one do you do? Which category do you for? Are you in the category of those that use social media for profit or those that use it for pleasure? Or another personal development you must commit yourself to is leadership. You must understand leadership. To make money online, you must be able to take the role of a leader. And you cannot just wake up one day and say, I want to be a leader. He who wants to be a leader must be mentored. If you want to be a leader, he must be mentored. And that is why you must allow an experienced person to mentor you so that you know the right thing to do. Another personal development you should commit yourself to is marketing. You must learn about marketing every day. If you can't market, brokenness will make you learn. Brokenness will make you pain. Brokenness will make you do what you are not supposed to do. I see some people say, yeah, I don't know how to market to my sister. To so source it online. To so make steady money online, you must be able to market. If you don't want to go in. Another personal development you must commit yourself to is sales. You must learn and understand how to sell. You will learn and understand how to sell because if you don't know how to sell, you will smell. Another personal development you should commit yourself to is communication. Please excuse me. So another personal development you should commit yourself to is communication. You must learn how to communicate every day. You see, to make money online. It is not how you say things. It is not what you say. It is how you say those things. So you must learn about communication every day. Another personal development you should commit yourself to, which is the last one I'll be mentioning here, is soul winning. You must learn and know how to win souls. Making money online is more of soul winning. And you must develop yourself in that aspect. All the messengers of Allah want souls. Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wants souls. 
Jesus Christ wants us, likewise other messengers. And that's why they were successful in their missions. Most people are financially depressed. Some are financially handicapped because they don't know how to win souls. So to make money online, you must know how to win. The next commandment of money is that you must learn and understand branding. Your brand is you. How people see you, how they perceive you. Some people, their brand they cannot attract money. People don't even see them as someone they can give money. Imagine someone who sells something online. Someone who sells a physical product online. And all you post on your status is this patronize your little girl. Your girl has not eaten since morning. If you patronize me, you will not die. And please don't let hunger finish me. Do you think if you continue with such brand or if you present yourself to people that way, do you think people will be willing to spend money with you? No. So you must learn and understand branding. Learn and understand branding. The next commandment of money is that you must be skilled. Anyone who doesn't have a skill can kill. Poverty can make someone to commit murder if such a person is not skilled. And when you are not skilled, you won't have money. You will always get angry at any little thing. Any little thing your spouse does or says, you are already angry. Any little thing your child say, you are already angry. So, for you to avoid unnecessary anger, you must. Be. And this is a very important commandment of money. You cannot have a skill and go on to. You must be skilled. The next one is that you must understand content creation. You must understand content creation and virality. Content creation is a financial way. Have you ever seen anyone who goes viral and still remain poor and broke? Have you, ever, have you ever seen anyone who goes viral and still remain poor and broke? No, it's not possible. If you see anyone who, who went viral and is still broke and poor, there's something is wrong somewhere. So you must understand content creation and virality. Next point is that you must understand lead generation. You must understand how it works and how to do it. So do you know how to do it? Do you know how it works? Do you know the ways to go about it? The next point is that you must understand conversion. You must know how to convert. He who doesn't understand conversion will have hypertension. So you must know how to convert in order to make steady money. If you don't know how to convert, no matter how, how many times you show online, no matter how many times you show with your offer, if you don't know how to convert, you will be frustrated. The next commandment of money is that you must understand the power of time. Your leisure time, they are the real time you have to make money for yourself. There are there is nothing like free time. To me, oh, I don't believe in free time. Any free time that is not a resting time is a wasted time. You must not spend your time arguing, complaining, or discussing events like politics or entertainment or anything. That does not concern you. Almost everyone is guilty of this. In the past few days or week now, what most people are discussing, what they are busy arguing about, is Davido and Chioma's wedding. How is that your business? Does it bring money to your account? You see some people, they even go to social media to hug you. They will hug you, they will hug you on irrelevant things, and at the end of the day, they still go broke. So anything that does not concern you, anything that, does not, that cannot put money into your pockets, you should not waste your time on such things at all, at all. So any free time that you have, that you are not using it to sleep or to rest. Those time, they are the time you can sit down and think of how to create value, think of how to be useful, think of how to make money, think of different things you can do. You can bring money into your account. Now that you, you, you say you are free now, then you start arguing, discussing 
things that are not relevant. So if you are doing this, you are breaking the commandment of money. And it will not amaze you if you are poor and broke. So once you find yourself in situations like that, make sure you leave such conversation because things like that will prevent you from making money. Are you getting me? Do you understand what I'm saying? If you can get me type, I can get you on the group. Type, I'm getting you. Or I can get you type. The next point is that, the next commandment is that you must be a digital creator. You must be a digital creator. You must be a digital creator because digital creator, a digital product, they are life savers. All you need is an evergreen offer. And this offer, this product, it can be in form of an ebook, a course, or a training. I am a digital creator because I, I create digital products. I have a lot of products I have created. I have books I have created. I have books I have written and authored. I have trainings and courses. All this makes me a digital creator. So you must be a digital creator if you really want to make money online. Because digital products, they are lifesavers. All you need is an evergreen digital product, which can be in form of an ebook, it can be in form of a course, it can be in form of a training. And guess what? They do not require physical delivery. You don't need to battle with the stress and headache from customers and dispatch riders. How long do you want to deal with that tension? You deal with tension too much, my sister. You will develop hypertension. Digital products, they are freedom fighters. They give you freedom. You can be anywhere in any part of the world. You can be busy or not. You can be in school. You can be anywhere. You can travel to anywhere you want to travel to. And you still be selling and you'll be making your money. Data products, they give you the opportunity to have evergreen offers. Some digital products are lifesavers, while some are used to build wealth. So which of these offers do you have? Lifesavers or financial vehicles? Because there are some physical, there are some little products that are lifesavers. And there are some that are financial vehicles. The lifesavers are used to pay bills. Use them to pay bills. You know, we live every day to pay bills. There are some bills that you don't plan them. They will just come. And once they come, you need to pay them. So there are some digital products that are lifesavers. Use them to pay bills. While there are some that are financial vehicles. You use those ones to build wealth. So which of these offers do you have? Lifesavers or financial vehicles? If you don't have any, that is why you need to pay attention and learn from me. You need to be loyal and committed. If you are offerless, if you don't have an offer, no matter who you are or what you are selling in your shop, you will be financially aimless. At this point, you think your village people are at work, whereas you don't. So those are the money command rules that I want to share with you. I said. For you to have financial stability, you must do three things. Which is you must serve, you must obey money principle, and you must understand followership. I said for you to serve, there are two entities you need to serve, which is your creator and the people you are called to serve. Then obey money principle and also understand followership. So discuss ways to command money. I should commit yourself to personal development, which we mention money and finances, social media, leadership, marketing, sales, communication, and soul winning. And I said all the messengers of Allah want souls. Jesus Christ wants souls. Prophet Muhammad wants soul. And likewise, other messengers. And that is why they were successful in their missions. So if you cannot win soul, you will be financially handicapped. Because making money online has to do with soul. So I said for you to another commandment, you must be skilled, you must understand content creation and reality, you must understand lead generation, 
you must understand conversion, you must understand branding, you must understand it. You must be a digital creator. Yes, and the last one, you must understand and utilize buying mode. You must know when your prospects are buying and when they are not buying. You must know when they are cold, when they are hot, and when they are warm. So there's what we call cold prospect. We have the warm prospect and the hot prospect. So if you know when they are cold, you know when they are warm, and when they are and there is a part of the brain called the IBS. Everyone has it. You have it and I have it as well. This IBS means internal buying security. It is the part of the brain that tells people not to buy. This IBS is programmed, originally it's programmed to say no. You are the one to provoke it to say yes. So if you know when your when the IBS of your prospect when it is on and when it is off. So it is your work to provoke it to say yes. So the training continues tomorrow, inshallah. But tomorrow's session will be held on WhatsApp by 5 p.m. Nigerian time. So if, if you are not in Nigeria, ensure you confirm the difference, the time difference in Nigeria with that of your country. So that you don't miss the session. So tomorrow's session will be on WhatsApp. Make sure to be on time. Come with your right. And make sure you check your time zone. Check the difference in time between Nigeria and your country. So we'll stop here and continue tomorrow, inshallah. If you have questions, drop them on the WhatsApp group. I will attend to them. If you have questions, drop them on the group. Drop them on the group. Don't drop your questions in my DM because I have lots of questions that enter my DM every day. I have thousands of questions. So if you drop your question in my DM, you might not get it on time, but if you drop it on the group, I'll be able to see it on time and attend to it. If you drop your question in my DM, and I don't see it on time. So whatever question you have, drop it on the group. Like I said, we have three groups. If you're in group one, you are in Digi Poem 1, drop your questions there. If you are in Digi Poem, Digi Poem 2, drop your questions there. If you are in Digi Poem 3, drop your questions there. I will attend to everything, inshallah. So, we are going to stop here and continue tomorrow. And in the Telegram group as well, there is a review group there. So, you can drop your review on the review group. And if you have further questions, drop it on the group. I will attend to them. So we meet tomorrow, inshallah, by 5 p.m. Nigeria. May our last pair, our lives be on tomorrow. Have a nice time. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.